Hi everyone, I can't quite believe it, but today I'm doing my first proper Christmas video. I'm filming this in November, it feels ridiculous. Do you know how hard it was to find a Christmas tree this early on in the year? But I wanted to get this up a bit early for you guys because I know that some people start their shopping quite early and I don't want things that I'm mentioning to be sold out. So that is why this is up in November. Also just a disclaimer that I kind of say every year, me and my family don't do crazy Christmas presents. We do Secret Santa. So we all pick one name and spend, last year it was 30, this year I think we're gonna spend 40 pounds on one good present. I think Christmas presents can get a bit over the top and crazy, but everyone has their own opinions. So I still wanted to do some kind of Christmas guide, but I'm trying to make this one a little bit different. And I feel like there's a lot of people on YouTube who will already have all the amazing beauty kind of gifts out there for you to look at. So I don't want to kind of re be repeating the same stuff. So I've tried to look at things that I already own and go out and buy some stuff that I genuinely would like. And I feel like this is just aimed at people like me. So if you're like a 20 something girl or you're a boyfriend or husband buying for a 20 something girl, then hopefully this video will be helpful to you. And instead of splitting up into two, I thought I'd just do one big epic video split up into two parts. So I've done under 40 pounds and under 20 pounds. So let's start with the, let's start with the under 20 stuff. And I'm going to start with the most affordable item. This I thought would be really good if you're doing a secret Santa. A lot of people do them at work or with friends and you normally have like a five or ten pound budget. And this is 4 dollars It's from H&M Home. And it's a really cute little bowl that says in gold inside, Merry everything and happy forever after. And I think this is so cute. I love the little bowls and stuff H&M Home do because you can use them for whatever you want. You can put bracelets or rings, any kind of jewellery in there. Or you can use it to kind of serve nuts if you're the sort of person who likes to have people around. You can put whatever you want in it, stationery, paper clips. So I think that is really, really cute and it's only 4 dollars H&M Home is a great place to look for Christmas presents. The next one is 10 pounds, so still good for a secret Santa. And this is a little ornament to hang on the tree and it's by Emma Hardy and it's a mini version of her merengue cleansing balm and it comes with a cloth. This is one of my all time favorite cleansers. This along with the Oskia one are my two like favorite ever. It's a balm cleanser. So you know the drill kind of starts as a balm, you rub it in, it turns into an oil. It removes all your makeup really well. And this is a really nice way to try the product. And if you know someone who's really into skincare, I think that's a really cute gift for them. It comes with a little pot and a little cloth as well. And I think that is really sweet and for 10 pounds, I think that's quite a good deal. This next product is 14.99, so going up a little bit. And again, it's from H&M, but this is from H&M Beauty. H&M Beauty's new, and you guys know I absolutely love it. And they do some really good gift sets. This one is called the Great Hair Day Gift Set. And it's really cute, it comes in this like pink box. And you take the lid off, and it comes with three products. I love the hair range, the packaging of the hair range. It looks so high-end and expensive. So in here is Get A Grip Dry Hairspray. So everyone needs a hairspray, that's really good just to keep a little bit hold if you have a style in. And then the In Between Days Dry Shampoo, which I haven't tried, but I do love a good dry shampoo. And it's good to have a travel size as well, so you can put it in your handbag. And then the Do It All BB Cream. So this is a leave-in hair perfecter. Again, I haven't tried any of these, but I would love to receive that. I think it's a really nice selection of hair products to try. It's the sorts of products that everyone can use, a hairspray, a dry shampoo, a BB cream, and it just looks really pretty as well. So for $14.99, I think that is a really good, I mean, if you are the sort of person who spends a lot on presents, then that'd be a good stocking filler. Okay, the next one I have behind me here, and this is something I already own, and it's a copper L letter from Oliver Bonus. They obviously do all the different letters. Rich bought this for me for Christmas last year. It came in my stocking, and I love it. If you are the sort of person that's into like Pinteresty things, making things look pretty, or whoever you're buying for is into that, I think these are really cute. They're personalized because you can obviously buy whatever letters you want. And because they're kind of like grid-like and clear, they're not too bulky. I find like some of the, the heavier letters are just too bulky. Was this is really sweet. You can put it on like a little picture frame ledge or, or just on the side in your bedroom. I think it's really pretty. Oh, and that letter is £10. I also think cookbooks are a great present and I was kind of racking my brain if I could pick one book to recommend, what would it be? And I asked my mum because she literally owns every cookbook ever and I wanted... I asked her like, what's the best one that kind of most people would really like? And she recommended, and I agree, uh, the Madeleine Shaw Get the Glow book. This is really good because it's healthy, but it's still delicious. It's not like completely vegan, so it's not unrealistic for people that still eat meat. And I think it's really great. It's like really doable. It's not, some recipe books are just too hard for people who aren't amazing at cooking to follow. And I think this is really easy to follow. Really nice selection of recipes. 
and I just think it looks really pretty. I think it's a really great present to receive. And I got this on Amazon, this is the hardback. I got it on Amazon for 10 pounds, which is such a good deal. Um, again, a great stocking filler or just a great present by itself. I would love that as my Christmas present. So that's the one recipe book I would recommend for this Christmas. The final gift in the under 20 pound category is a scarf and this is 1995, so it's pretty much 20 pounds. And I think a scarf is such a nice present to receive at Christmas, it keeps you warm and snuggly. This one is like, it's really, really soft. It's got this like gray kind of aztec -y print on it. I think gray scarves are really useful because they kind of go with everything. Um, and I think it's really snuggly. It's not too big. Some scarves are too big. My top shirt one can be too big sometimes. So it's a really good size, long enough to wrap around. By the way, I have not mentioned my Christmas jumper. I'll show you properly at the end. This is Christmas jumper I got from Next. Little bit itchy, I'd say like a seven out of 10 on the itchy scale but it's got a really cute polar bear on it that I've named Cole. So I'll show you Cole at the end of this video, but just needed to point that out there. A scarf is a great present. This one, 20 pounds, I think a really good deal. Snuggly, warm, good present. Okay, so now let's get to the under 40 pounds category. And the first thing is from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the Kissing Fallen From A Lipstick Tree Mini Lipstick Charms. This is so cute. It's £29, which is a lot of money for something so little, but it's Charlotte Tilbury, come on. If you know someone that loves Charlotte Tilbury or has always wanted to try Charlotte Tilbury, this is a great present. Inside you get three mini cute lipsticks. They're so cute and they can be little ornaments as well. They can hang from the tree. So let me open them up. Oh my God, they're so cute. This one is So Marilyn, which is like a red. This one is Penelope Pink, which is a really gorgeous nude. And then the last one is Bitch Perfect, which is just the best name, which is also a really nice nude, slightly more peachy. I really like that shade. So I think that's such a cute present. I'm gonna, I can't wrap it back up again, but really, really cute, 39 pounds. Sorry, 29 pounds, 29 pounds. Something a bit more personalized that I thought you could do is I found this little brush holder in H&M Beauty. It's so nice, it looks really expensive. It's kind of like faux black leather textured with a gold zip, I really like that. And this was only uh, $3.99, which is so cheap. And so what you could do is you could buy this and then you can pick your own makeup brushes to put in. So you can make this as expensive or cheap as you like. Obviously, if you went for like Charlotte Tilbury brushes or MAC brushes or Bobbi Brown brushes, you can make it expensive. I would also really recommend Zoeva. And if you were to get one face brush and two eye brushes, for example, from Zoeva, and the case. It could all come to 35 pounds. I don't have a face brush from Zoeva, so I've just put my Charlotte Tilbury one in there instead. But for example, you could have like a face brush and then two different eye brushes. And then you've kind of picked the brushes you think are right for that person. I think that's quite a nice idea. Um, all come in that little case. So you can kind of tailor that to your budget, but I think, woo, that's a really nice idea. The next thing is from Kate Spade. Kate Spade has a home section that I absolutely love. I bought this for myself in America like a couple of years ago, but I've seen in the shop in Covent Garden that they do that here as well. And they do a couple of different ones. Um, my one is a little tray that says odds and ends. It's like a proper plate with gold trimming and this beautiful like handwritten font. And there's all different ones that you can get. So I'd recommend looking on the website or going into the shop to have a look. This one in the UK is £34 and it comes beautifully wrapped in a gift box. And I think it's such a special gift to receive. And you could use this kind of for your keys or for your hair clips or for whatever you want. I keep it on the coffee table. It's so nice. Definitely for someone that likes homey things. This next one is £27 and it's from Oliver Bonus again. And it's a really really pretty necklace stand. So it has this like marble base and then a copper stand. So it's got a smaller section here that you can hang like rings and bracelets on and then you could hang long necklaces as well. And this is where I keep all my necklaces and bracelets and rings and I love it. And I think it looks beautiful as well in the home. So that's 27 pounds, which I think is a really nice gift as well. For the girl who loves nails, there's this set from Nails Inc. It's 30 pounds and it's the Alice and Olivia range. I think this one's a great pick because it's really special packaging and it looks really kind of high end and fashion-y and there's four nail colors there's a really pretty peachy nude a dark like wine color a gold glitter and a more like metallic red and they're really nice like festive shades i think for the girl that loves nail polish this is a really special little kit and i would love to receive this in my stocking or just as a present i think it's really cute okay only a couple more to go and this one i went to pick up from liberty last week because i just kind of got it for myself because i need more anyway it's the Eccentric Molecule Molecule One perfume that I always talk about. This one is £38 because it comes with a case. I've never bought this one for myself before because I normally just get the refill, which is like £27. But the idea is you buy this one first, so you have the case, 
and then you just buy the refill. So for £38, you can buy someone or yourself or whoever this perfume. It's really cool. It's like a pheromone thing, I think that's the word, where you can't really smell it on yourself, but other people find it really attractive. And I can smell it myself when I first put it on, and I love the scent. It just... It's so hard to describe, you have to kind of smell it yourself, but people always ask me what perfume I'm wearing when I wear this. So the case is actually, it's like metal, it's quite heavy. Um, how does this work? Oh yeah, you take the lid off. Oh, there you go, and it just slots in there. So you can just buy this by itself, and it just kind of goes in the case, and it looks really chic, so that's really, that's how you can like travel with it. Anyway, I love this scent, and it's really special. If you get it from Liberty, you'll get the little purple bag, and they can kind of gift wrap it, and. It's just really special. Okay, the final thing, I always like to recommend some kind of subscription. I think I recommended like a magazine subscription last year, which is still a good idea. I think it's like the present that keeps giving and a three month subscription to this company is 33 pounds plus like postage and packaging, I think. And it's a beauty box, kind of. It's the My Little Box. And I really like, out of all the beauty boxes, I really like My Little Box because it's more than just beauty. It's like a lifestyle box. And this is a really bad example. This is last month's, which it was their Pinterest box. But normally it comes with this beautiful illustration on the front. This one's really cool because it's got like a picture of a girl like putting up all different prints on her wall and it's really cool. Uh, but normally they have an illustration and it's just such a beautiful box to receive. I'll show you what it's like inside. So you open it up like this and there's always like a really pretty illustration and a bow. And then you open it up and there's a magazine and all different things. There's normally like a lifestyle product, a beauty product. Just really interesting things. Every month I'm surprised by how good the stuff inside is. So a three month subscription I think is a really nice gift and something a bit different. The gift that keeps on giving, all of that, and then they can always extend it if they want to. So those are all the gifts that I'm recommending this year for Christmas. I hope it was something a bit different for you guys. I know that everyone kind of takes Christmas differently. For me, it's all about family and the food. But if you're into the present thing as well, then maybe you found something interesting from my gift guide. There won't be a new vlog on Tuesday. Instead, there will be my monthly makeup routine and a slightly exciting announcement. So don't forget to come back 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday to see that, and I will see you guys then. Bye. Oh, I forgot to show you Cole the polar bear. Look, how cute is he? And also look at the little snowman behind me. He's very cute too. Thank you.